Thursday's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful sees Sheila revealing harrowing details of her ordeal with Sugar to Deacon and Finn. Meanwhile, Steffi questions Ivy about her intentions with Liam. In SVU News, Mariska Hargaday confirms Kelly Giddish's firing from the show, leaving fans questioning Amanda Rollins' departure. Spoilers for Thursday, May 2's episode of Bold and the Beautiful, Sheila divulges horrifying details about Sugar, and Steffi confronts Ivy about Liam. According to teasers for Thursday, May 2nd, Deacon Sharp and John Finn Finnegan will politely urge Sheila Carter to provide more information about her experiences. When Deacon mentioned Sugar, alias Janet Weber, Sheila almost passed out. After all, Sheila was shackled inside that dilapidated building. Sheila was afraid Sugar had killed Steffi Forrester the way she had planned, but Finn reassured her that Steffi was still alive, which eased Sheila's fears. Sheila will disclose the gory facts of how Sugar overcame her and switch places with her as soon as she settles down and gets stronger. Sheila will probably be happy that Sugar did not hurt Steffi, Finn, or the children because she had been concerned about it while Sugar was in captivity. Apparently Sugar wanted to remove Steffi and make it appear as though Sheila, the genuine person, was the one who did the crime. Sugar's plan to get retribution was obviously foiled, and Deacon and Finn would not let her hurt Sheila again because she is dead. Of course, Sheila will eventually need medical attention at the hospital, but for now, she seems to be benefiting much from having these two of her favorite males give her so much attention. After her terrible experience, Sheila is overjoyed to have Finn and Deacon devoted to her, she will update them on her side of events and bask in their affection. There, Steffi is going to grill Ivy Forrester at I.L. Giardino. Now that Steffi has witnessed Ivy kissing Liam Spencer, she will be curious to know Ivy's true goals. According to BNB spoilers, Steffi will question Ivy about her plans with Liam, thus Ivy might confess that she wants Liam to know how much she's been considering him. Ivy won't mind at all if this finally develops into a true romantic reunion. Ivy intends to return to Sydney, but if she can rekindle her relationship with Liam, she might consider relocating to Los Angeles. Stay in for more predictions about Ivy's love life as spoilers for the bold and the beautiful indicate that Steffi will probe Ivy extensively and attempt to gauge her mental state. Make CDL your go to BNB site for tantalizing spoilers, predictions, news, and updates for bold and the beautiful. Mariska Hargaday verifies the unexpected SVU firing, it's a sore subject. Even though Kelly Giddish's character left the Special Victims Unit more than a year ago, fans are still curious about Amanda Rollins' initial circumstances and the reason behind her departure. Law & Order, SVU, or Special Victims Unit, is an NBC procedural drama series that chronicles the personal and professional lives of detectives assigned to the Special Victims Unit of the 16th Precinct of the New York Police Department. The unit's mission is to investigate and prosecute a variety of sexually motivated offenses. Olivia Benson, the Manhattan Special Victims Unit's captain and commanding officer, is in charge of the group. In season 13 of SVU, Giddish debuted as Amanda Rollins, a detective assigned to the Manhattan Special Victims Unit. Rollins departed the show in season 24. Giddish reflected on her experience as Rollins on SVU, the character she portrayed for over 10 years, in a December 2022 interview with Variety. It's crazy, because I played her for three decades of my life, I started playing her in my late twenties. It's crazy, she remarked. There is no show like this one. Characters don't get to play 12 years in a show, much less. I had the opportunity to play a variety of emotions while portraying someone with as many facets as Rollins, including triumphant, unsure, happy, and down and out. I had to do the gambit. What then made Kelly Giddish quit from SVU? Continue reading to find out what really happened to Amanda Rollins and why Kelly Giddish left SVU. What made Kelly Giddish quit from SVU? What made Kelly Giddish quit from SVU? The actress who plays Captain Olivia Benson, Mariska Hargitay, stated in a May 2024 interview with Variety that Giddish was let go by executive producer and creator Dick Wolf before she left at the conclusion of season 24. Hargitay remarked, My favorite actor to work with is Kelly. My heart belongs to Kelly. It's a sensitive topic. Although I had a lot to say on the show, I wasn't given enough space. Hargitay, who serves as an executive producer on SVU, disclosed that she has been advocating for Giddish's permanent return to the show since her co-star's departure. 
She remarked, I don't like not being listened to, especially when I'm right. With these two fierce women, so imperfect yet so supportive of each other, you saw one of the most powerful relationships on television. In August 2022, Giddish made her departure from SVU following season 24 known. Giddish released a statement at the time stating, I wanted to address the chatter I've seen online and let everyone know that this will, indeed, be my last season on Law & Order, SVU. One of my life's greatest pleasures and privileges has been playing Rollins. For the past 12 years, I have had the incredible fortune to be a member of the Law & Order family. Rollins is unlike any other character on television. Both she and I have evolved and grown. I'm happy that I got to spend so much of my adult life with Rollins, as I began working on this show when I was in my late 20s. I want to thank all of my co-stars, every single person on the crew, all of the writers here, Dick Wolf, Mariska Hargitay, Warren Late, Peter Jankowski, NBC, Universal Television, and for our amazing work together these last 12 years, she continued. I'm incredibly eager to apply everything I've learned on SVU to anything that comes after. Giddish stated that she intended to quit SVU before filming on season 24, which had Rollins and her husband, Assistant District Attorney Dominic Sonny Carisi Jr., being married, in an interview with Variety in December 2022. This year, before the season began. We collaborated on this plot together, and I believe the most recent episode brought Rollins and Benson's lovely relationship to a satisfying conclusion. It was also a joy to witness Rollins and Carisi's marriage, she remarked. Giddish gave Variety an explanation for her departure, saying that she simply thought it was time to wrap up Rollins' SVU plot. My perspective is that the Rollins narrative is nearing its conclusion, she remarked. It seemed like the perfect spot to leave it at this time, given where it was heading and where it headed last night. There is a lot of joy to be had from the developments in my own life, which are kind of echoing those in Rollins. I am quite happy about them. Giddish's departure also followed allegations of mistreatment of women against SVU showrunner David Graziano in a Los Angeles Times article. In an interview with Variety, Giddish addressed the claims. Reading it alarmed me. Over the course of my 12 years there, I have always had pleasant experiences on the set, she remarked. On SVU, what became of Amanda Rollins? In And a Trauma in a Pear Tree, the ninth episode of season 24, Rollins departed from Law and Order, Special Victims Unit. Captain Olivia Benson, Detective Fun Totola, Detective Joe Velasco, and Rollins squad members, Assistant District Attorney Dominic Sonny Carisi Jr., saw the marriage. In the episode, Rollins also revealed to Benson that she was quitting the Special Victims Unit to take a professorial position during their final case together. Rollins and Benson got into a fight about the talk, but at the end of the show, they made up and hugged each other while weeping. In her final scene on SVU, Rollins bid farewell to the Special Victims Unit, amid the applause of her fellow squad members. On SVU, what became of Amanda Rollins? In a December 2022 interview with Entertainment Weekly, Giddish discussed her reaction upon first reading Rollins' SVU finale. Listen, that's going to really put her life in perspective, they stated after she was shot in the first scene, he explained. She is a mother, and she is surrounded by amazing things. She then kind of gets to the realization, wait, like, why am I not off enjoying this? Instead, she decides to go after what is bringing her such delight. We have witnessed Rollins and Carisi's unwavering love, trust, and respect for one another. Together with her two daughters, they have a wonderful little family. At that moment, it was just the perfect spot for Rollins to go. Prior to Giddish and Carisi's nuptials, Giddish stated to Entertainment Weekly that she believed the public would have lost their s if they hadn't gotten married. I was ecstatic for the supporters. I adored the point in the courtroom where they had to actually pronounce the vowels and I got to see their expressions. I also feel very uneasy in situations where there is a large gathering of individuals. I was like, please, could this please end, she added. To be honest, I wasn't all that into that part. However, my favorite part was when they woke up in bed and you could see the genuine intimacy between them. The girls would jump on the bed, and I could tell they were going to exchange vows that day. Giddish also discussed with Variety why filming her last scenes with Olivia Benson's Mariska Hargitay was so emotional for her. It was so touching. 
Acting with my girl is simply so much fun, so we had a great time, she remarked. We know each other so well that you may play there since there is so much trust between us. Nothing is fixed in stone, and the writers are willing to work with you if you want to try something since they know that Mariska and I can help them refine the script's language. There are a ton of laughs, lots of tears, and it's just so much fun. It was a truly lovely experience. Regarding the last scene she shot for SVU, Giddish revealed to Variety that she recorded the episode out of chronological sequence. It was in the office of Karisai. During her final scene, she recalled, it was the one where he was like, you haven't talked to Olivia, have you? After performing the scene in the bed with my girls, we performed two scenes in his office. I urged and begged Mariska in particular not to do anything major, not bake cake, nothing like that. After they shouted cut, I had the opportunity to thank the team and say, goodbye. And then I hurried home to go trick or treating with my child because it was Halloween. Okay, that's it, that job is done, was my reaction. What will be the next one? NBC broadcasts Law & Order, SVU on Thursdays at 9pm. Please subscribe our channel.